we can now make 240 volts AC electricity just from sunlight so I can now run my power tools. I bought an inverter which turns 12 volts DC into mains 240. This can produce 3000 watts of power continuously and it can produce up to 9000 watts of power for 10 seconds. If a generator is connected up to it then the generator can supply the load and charge the batteries. The output of the inverter is a pure sine wave so I can run the computers and electronic equipment. I've made an electricity power board. It's made of one inch ply and it has connectors across the top and the bottom for all of the inputs and the outputs so that it can be moved when I put it into its final resting place. The electricity comes from the solar panel in the top center connector to the charge controller and then down to the bottom left hand connector which connects to the battery. The output of the charge controller feeds the distribution box. It goes into a DC circuit breaker and there it's got two outputs one being the 12 volt DC water pump and the other the 12 volt DC lighting. The charge controller display constantly cycles and it shows you the load, the state of the battery and how much charge is coming in. The inverter has a remote power switch which allows you to turn the inverter on without having to bend down. The 240 AC comes from the inverter in the bottom left hand corner of the, the board goes to the RCD, the residual current detector, and from there it's distributed onto two circuit breakers, one feeding the wet container and one feeding the dry container. There's a connector in the top right hand corner for each of the container's AC powers. It's actually very simple. Turn on the inverter, light goes green and you've got mains, There's the mains, plug in your drill and away you go. Now we also flattened one of the laptops overnight and I put it on to charge and topped it up to 99%. Brilliant. Let's have a quick look around. Turn on the light switch. There's four LEDs over the kitchen area. Hot water tanks, supplying hot and cold water. Battery and inverter under the under the tank, and the board in the centre. And here's the wiring for the dry container. I put conduit and mounted it in the top corner of the container. And there are five drop-down points, each one supplying 12 volts. And they'll have pendant light switches so that you can turn them off and on individually. And the 12 volts is running through the conduit. and back to the power supply.